And I used to have a saying that I used to use a lot, which was your pace, not theirs. And what it means is on offense, you should always play at your pace. Don't let you kind of get rushed up and play at the defense's pace. And for you guys, if you guys can get good at that second bump, now you can make a ton of different reads. You come off a ball screen, you do an inside out on a big guy, and you get into their hip. Well, now you're playing kind of at an advantage. You know what I mean? Because they can't do anything besides follow you, et cetera. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do this, OK? We're going to advance that topic. So uh, let me see that ball real quick. Say you're guarding me. So now let's review what we've, we've talked about so far. So the first thing is, say he's guarding me up, up, he's jamming me. Don't give me that much. Like, actually play defense, yep. First thing we've got is if we reach and his foot's right there, we've got duck under, right? We've got our duck under, get by him and beat him. If he goes for it, so if we go like this and he takes that step, then we get into our load step. On our load step, our first option is one dribble and then bump him, two dribbles, and finish. Obviously, if you can just load step and ex explode by him, that's always number one. But the second thing that we did was basically load step, beat him. Third thing we did is if we load step and we beat him, and there's a secondary defender coming over and he continues to come, we bump him, hop to space, keep the ball protected and shoot a little fade. So now we've really got kind of three reads or three kind of skills. Now, we obviously need more than that. So the next one we're gonna do is what happens if somebody's really getting physical with you? Okay, really getting physical with you and jamming you. Okay, what we're gonna do is a skill that Lou Williams, James Harden, a bunch of these guys have got really good at, which is drawing a foul. So now you're guarding me, forcing me this way, okay? I go, in my first dribble, I'm gonna go out, okay? So maybe I don't feel comfortable with just beating him hip to hip, so I go out the first dribble, and then I take a quick second dribble, and then get fouled. So this is how they do it, okay? So if I'm right here, again, he's right there guarding me, and he's playing, uh, what I wanna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play live and you play live, okay? And I wanna show you guys a couple different reads. So here we go, we're live, uh, don't give me that much. Yep, right there, okay, we're live, you and I. Okay, first thing, if his hand was right there, what would most NBA players do? Circle sweep, right? So now if I wanna get his hand off, I just go like this, what does he do, he backs up. Now I take off, boom, get into him, now I got the foul. Okay, or the finish. Second read, I'm right here, same exact thing. If his hand's right there, I'm, boom, I'm trying to, hey, foul. Boom, now I'm getting his hand off of me. Okay, you guys are gonna learn these little tricks. He's there, boom. Oh, I'm gonna follow him out real quick. His hand's right there. Boom, bang, now I'm gone. Hop, and now I got my fade. Okay, so you see how we're now manipulating the defense. Now we're here, again, he's getting cooked. Okay, we're sitting there, boom, oh. We reached and went under him. Do you guys see how we're just reading him? It's simple, okay, he's still guarding me. Same exact thing, this time I go this way, oh, bang, and I'm by him. You notice that, like, for him, he's at a loss of what to do, because if he jams us, he's gonna get a foul. If he plays off of us, we're gonna have a ton of room to operate, so he's really in trouble, okay? The only one is, if he gets more physical, we're gonna do the, the and one, which is play me defense, okay? Um, like, actually try to stop me. Who, who's, the, who's the best defender in here? Come up here, you come up here, okay? Check up, you're guarding me, okay? Force me that way. Oh, okay. Yep, you ready? All right, so if he's right there, First thing we're always doing is looking for that. You see how you can move a guy from just simple stuff. You're still guarding me. Okay, I'm here. Boom, boom, and stop. Do you guys see how much separation you can get from doing nothing? He's so scared of me right now that he's three, four feet off of me. Now I can make passes, I can make plays. I'm not breathing hard, I don't care. And in a game, I would shoot this every single time. Okay, so now, if you're the best defender here, you gotta play defense, okay? He's here. You go like this. Boom, look under, bang, I'm gone. And stop. Did you guys see how when you take an explosion dribble, what does the defense do? They drop hard, okay? So now we build up to secondary moves, which is if you take off, the first thing we got is a cross step. Okay, so now we're here, we take off and it's lunge, and cross step, and now we explode. And you guys see, because he was trying to lock me up, what did he do when I took that first dribble? He went flying, okay? So we're gonna build up this pack, it's pretty simple. So now we're doing this right here. Again, we're here, boom, we're manipulating, and we go, bang, we can stop, we can pull back, we can go, we can drive, we can do whatever we want out of that. So if they cut you off, most of the time we'll use it if, say he's on offense, 
If the defense either goes like this, where a go ahead, and they slide big time where you don't have an angle, we'll change directions. Or if they go and we get body, then you change directions. So if you feel body, you'd want to change directions. Or if they slide and you don't have an angle, you change directions. We go with that. So now what I want us to do is let's break that down. The only thing we're going to do is you guys on defense are either going to jam them or drop hard and we'll work on changing directions and then we're going to kind of build it up a little bit more again. Okay, we good with that? Yeah, how do you want to change directions if you get directly bodied? Good question, good question. So if you're here you and you feel body, uh, bang, I'm right. change. That's a good question. And that's exactly what we want. If we have an angle and we feel body, so say he goes and you start sliding and we feel here, then I would, hey, and get the contact. If he completely cuts us off, which is what you were talking about, then right here, I'm, I'm in trouble. So what we want to do is we want to kind of take a mini step back to let him to continue to slide, give ourselves a little space, and then change direction. So I would never want to do this, say you jam me. I would never want to go through him and go like this because then I'm going to get stuck up. And you see that happen a lot of times. What we want to do is we want to go and then now I create space and change direction. I lost the ball right there, but you guys understand what I'm saying. When you're here, you just go here, boom, stop, change directions, and now go. We good with that? Great question, okay? So if you guys take off and they're jamming you right here and they cut you off, it's just a stop, let them keep sliding, change direction, get our hands over or under them. If you guys beat them and they try to jam you, we're gonna to try to get a foul. So if he's right here and say, I beat him here and he keeps coming, hey, get into them, we're using the second bump and then raise up and draw contact. So it's one of those two things, draw the foul or change directions, we good? All right, rotate hoops, here we go. Remember, the only thing you're allowed to do is change directions on the first dribble or if we get a foul. No, stop, stop. If you're gonna get into him, you gotta get into him. You guard me real quick. Here we go, we're live, we're ready. Hey, foul. Bang, do it again. Hands out, foul. Bang, I'm gone. Hey, you see what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta get into him, get into him. Here we go. Is he, is he too good to, you can't score on him? No. Okay, well then, good, then let me see. Let me see how simple you can make it. Hold on, you let, you're right-handed, right? Good. Now stop. If he's got a hand exposed, what are you gonna try to do? At least get him off of you, yeah. Good, now stop. Listen, come back again, right here. Why did you stop? So I felt like my angle was getting off, so I wanted to... No, he had you. So when you're here, watch, he's guarding you. You went like this, that should be, boom, get into him. Do it again and just get into him. If you can't get into him, we're changing direction. We're not doing spin moves right now. Good, do it again, do it again. That's why, because he pushed you out of bounds. Watch this. This is what you're doing, so guard me just like you guard him. You're going like this. So he has all the power, He's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Watch me, okay, same exact thing. I'm here, I'm going, bang, I'm going. Do you see where I'm at? Get into him. Do it again. Get into him. I want to see how hard you can hit him on the second one. Yes! Hey! Foul. Do you see what I'm saying? So, like, so when you're attacking, you want to attack like directly over their head? Or? Yeah. Like if I'm here and he's guarding me, I want to go right where that white line is. I want to beat him right here and then I want to see if I can slide past him on the second one. Okay, you're up again. Same exact thing. Get that foot up high right there. Yeah, no, go finish. Yeah, you, you stopped yourself, but finish it. Trust yourself. Next up, next up. Now stop, stop, stop. Do it again. That ball's out here. Keep that ball protected. No, no. You have a layup. Take the layup. You're up again. He's up again. Yo, take the lay. We're not allowed to do setbacks. We're only allowed to finish at the rim or change direction. Keep the whole stop, stop. Do it again. I'm guarding you. I'm guarding you. Come here. You're up. You're up on offense. Grab the ball. Grab the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm guarding you. Ready? Here we go. Now stop. Do you see? Hey, do you see how me going like this messes with you? 
Watch this. You guard me. Okay, you ready? Try to lock me up. I'm not worried about you because the ball's back here. Do that right there. Don't let it. Hey, if he exposes the ball, slap it out of it. Here we go. Keep that ball back. Yes, now you're in better position. Yes, get into him. Finish it. Hey, that's really good. Really good. Now stop. Face up. No, face up. Face up, here. Yeah. Good, go finish that. Hey, if you would've just went up, they would've fouled you. Nice. Hey, great job, great job. Yes, again, yeah. You're up again. Let's go, go again. Now he's gonna get his hands off of you. Good, finish that. Nice job. Hey, that's okay, that's a good series. Yes! Hey, that's good. Just don't slow down, that was perfect though. Now, whoa, whoa, stop, stop, do it again. Do it again, do it again. Here we go, here we go, same thing. Hold up, I'm gonna talk you through this. Go ahead, here we go. Stop, stop, look at his hand. Yeah! Get him off of you. That's okay. In a game, you just spawn. That's okay. You just hold out. You just keep going. <clears throat> nice job. Yes. Nice job. Good. Hey, you can't be a... sweep. If you're gonna sweep it, sweep it. Get into him. Yes. Hey, that's so much better. That's so much better. Good. Nice, hey, that's free throws. Did you see how much better that was in last rep? Yes! Finish that. No, two dribbles, two dribbles. You backing up all the way, how to shoot it? You would in a game, but right now I want you to work on this stuff. Great finish. Good, that's okay. This is unlike anything I've ever been to before. The intensity is way higher at this camp. The coaches hold you to a higher standard. They treat you like the player you're supposed to be. It's really nice to have coaches that personally talk to you. and We're all treating each other like brothers. If you're not 100% devoted about basketball, don't come. This is what you need if you want to play at the next level. One, two, three. E -G -G.